Al Jazeera, the network known for giving Osama bin Laden his home, his voice, and Al-Qaeda for that matter, following the 9-11 attacks, is planning a major U.S. expansion. Having just bought Al Gore's current TV for $500 million, the network's North American arm is not only changing their name to Al Jazeera America, but they plan to build news bureaus in eight major cities. So what should viewers expect? What is their goal? Joining me right now is the CEO of Concerned Veterans for America and U.S. Army veteran uh, Captain Pete Hegseth. Uh, Captain, you've had direct mm -hmm. uh, interaction with Al Jazeera. Should we be concerned about them infiltrating into America? Well, we should know exactly what they're going to bring to bear. I, as I mentioned, I did interviews with Al Jazeera English in 2007, 2008 as an Iraq War veteran who believed in successfully completing that war. And, and I did it because I wanted to put a human face on the guy serving because they characterized these guys as monsters, as killers, and everything. And I could stand on there face to face with, with an anchor and say, that's not what we're doing. That's not what's happening on the ground. And the images you're showing are not true. I think you're going to see a lot of the same. They're going to try to be more nuanced about it because ultimately at the end of the day, they're going to need viewership. It, 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 this emir who bought the network has you know, bottomless pockets and he can pay for it, but he's not going to want to lose money forever. I think they're going to hedge and hem and haw, but it'll be very interesting to watch how they weave the anti-American narratives into everything they're talking because about. Because Al Jazeera English has been a non-starter here. I yep. mean, they tried to hire a few American talent and they just said, well, listen, they're not interested in honest news, and they got out of it. Yeah, that, that, that's why they're going to have to, because if they come here and they, it's in completely slanted anti-American, you know, right. especially foreign policy news, uh, people are going to turn it off absent those who are watching Al Gore's current man Al Gore the gift that of course keeps on giving but but it's uh, also his insincerity and the, the hypocrisy is unbelievable where he sure. condemns oil and has the big problem with oil they, this whole network's been fueled on oil profits and then I was staggered to find out his dad did the same thing <laughs> after he left the US Senate he left he helped Arm and Hammer uh, as the head of Occidental Petroleum he allowed him he uh, uh, helped him move yeah. forward with his business cashing in on contacts and you know you reported and I know it was reported how he happened to wait 10 days for the sale uh, or got it done early so he could avoid taxes the, the the guy who believes in everyone paying more taxes there's no principle involved in this whatsoever he cashed in a tune of hundred million dollars right. he seems to be okay with the fact that Al Jazeera is going to be on our doorstep with seven investigative reporters what are they going to be looking for what are they going to be digging into who are they going to try to expose whether there's truth or not uh, it, it's bad news all around and Al Jazeera's got a foothold in Washington DC and seven other cities and I think more people should do what you did uh, go on there take them on and let Tell them, them like another it perspective is. Uh, and we'll just see what's going on now as they continue to grow because no one was watching current TV. Uh, Pete Hegseth, the CEO of Concerned Veterans for America. Always good to see you in studio. Thanks, Brian. All right, uh, 11 minutes now.